trust. Trust is a good one. What? A greeting? You're like, hey, how's it going? Yeah, <laughs> okay. You have to greet each other. In the Bible, it says with a holy kiss. I think that's funny. Okay. Jesus needs to be a part of every relationship. That's right. Good answers. Okay. Now, could we take all of those really good answers, all of those really good answers, and summarize them in one word? What is the basic part of every relationship is this. It'll come up on the screen. That love is present. You guys were right at the first, but I didn't think it was fair to be that easy. So we had to ask more questions. Yeah. Okay. That love is present. That is what is necessary in every single relationship. Imagine a relationship without it. Here, here's what it would look like. The relationship would all be about, you know, the person. The, you, yourself. It would all be about you. It wouldn't have anything to do with the other person. You wouldn't care about them. Because if you don't love the other person, you don't care about the other person, right? It's all about you. So it would be a little bit selfish. And then there's no concern for the other person. You don't even care that they exist. There's no concern if they get hurt. Well, I don't care. It's, I don't care. Who, who cares? It would be like Sandy and I are married. And uh, she gets in a car accident. And, I, and I'm like, I don't care. I could care less if Sandy gets in a car accident. Who cares? It's just a relationship, right? If there's no love present. And then, think about this. Sandy and I are married, and we never talk. Picture that. Picture you and your friends standing in a circle at school, just standing there. Okay? It looks stupid. Okay, you're at the wave pool last night. Some of you were there. And uh, grade sevens are huddled in a circle here, girls. And grade seven boys are in a circle over there. Grade nines are all against one wall, right? And then there's one couple kissing in the hot tub. I saw that, okay? And uh, so, but there would be no talking. You'd be at the wave pool and it'd be like, and you're wanting to say it's the best thing ever and this is so fun and you're like, and that's all. You know, just shake your fist a little bit or smile and that's all you, no talking. If there's no love in a relationship, you're not going to talk to somebody. It's all about you, right? And the last thing, that would really suck if there was no love in relationships it is it would be really demanding do this don't do that okay it, there would be demands put on you in a relationship where there was no love present you know I want you to go, your parents pretend it's your parents and it's a relationship with your parents go clean your room go hang your coat up tie your shoes I want you to change your pants go wash the toilet take the garbage out that's all it would be because there's no love present they're just telling you to do stuff because it's all about the other person, right? It's all about you in a relationship where there's no love present. Did I just describe a nice relationship? No. I mean, the wave pool would be kind of fun like that. Have like a monk wave pool event. That would be funny. But, you know, in gen like when you think about those things that I described, that kind of relationship would stink. It would not be any fun. Nobody would want to be part of a relationship like that. And if you do, you're different than everybody else, okay? Uh, you Maybe you're odd. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's not the way God designed relationships. He designed them like it says in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And you guys, for the next, for January and February, all we're talking about is relationships. That's why this series is called Amistad. Because Amistad is a Spanish word for friendship. And so we're going to talk about that for two months. And I think it's so important... Um, that we're going to take two months to talk about it. And you know why I think it's important? Because I know God thinks it's important. He made us that way. And when we read in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, really that's a whole chapter in the Bible, just devoted to relationships. Here's what it says in 1 Corinthians 13 once more at the, at the beginning. It says, if we don't have love, we have nothing. And at the end it says, if we don't have love, we gain nothing. Because we were made to be in relationship God offers us that basic unit of any relationship, and it's what? Love. Because God designed us to be in relationship, He offers us the basic unit of relationship. And what is it? Love. Okay, I'm just checking if you were listening twice. Right on. We need to take that basic unit, that love, okay, it's like the cornerstone of the relationship, and build healthy friendships around it. All right, one more thing I want to talk about, and this is the thought for the week. Here's the thought for the week, you guys. We have to ask ourselves these questions about every single relationship that we're in. So if you said you're like 900 relationships, have fun this week. 
Yeah, because you're going to be like, oh, shoot, I forgot 884. Who was that? Darn. I've had three questions about that. Okay, first question. Do I put the other person first in our relationship? Do I put other people first in my relationship? It's super important, isn't it? Second question. Do I listen to others before I do the talking? Okay, do I listen to others before I do the talking? And the third one, here's another question, really good question for you and all your relationships. Do I make demands in my relationships? Well, if you were my friend, you wouldn't say that. If you were my friend, you'd go and talk to that boy for me. If you were my friend, like all the time, demands. Do I make demands in my relationships? Or do I just let people be people because I just love them the way they are, the way that Jesus loves me? Okay, I'm going to ask these again. Do I put others first? Do I listen? And do I make any demands in my relationships? Guys, if we answer those three questions correctly in our relationships, it's going to be awesome. We're going to be the kind of friends that everybody wants to have around. We're going to be the kind of siblings that everybody wants to have. We're going to be the kind of children that our parents just love to give money to. <laughs> okay, no, maybe they won't. All right? But we'll be great kids for our parents, don't you think? I'm 35. I can still be a better kid to my parents than I am today. I know that sounds funny, but it's very true. You guys, we're going to close in like one minute. But I, I really want to tell you one more time that I believe that relationships are so important. And that is why for the next two months we're talking about Amistad. And guys, I really want you to come on Saturday nights excited about learning about friendships. I just think if we can create uh, in our own little small world, unless some of you are like 900, like Brittany Ho was like 900 people. I have 900 friends. Okay? Some of you are like that, but in your own little world, if you can create the kind of relationships that God likes, the ones like he talks about in 1 Corinthians 13, can you imagine what that would do for the kingdom of God? Okay? Picture, just picture what would happen in our junior high youth group here at this church if we really get this, if we really listen and pay attention and, and put into our hearts and practice what we're going to learn in the next two months. It would revolutionize things. Nobody could stand not to be here. Every one of your friends, when they hear about what's going on here, if we really put into practice what we're going to learn in the next two months, your friends are going to need to be here just because it's so welcoming, it's so inviting. Everybody includes everybody. Everybody is a friend of everybody. Can you imagine a place like that? We wouldn't have enough room in here for us. We'd have to take over the sanctuary and kick the adults out. Now, that would be cool. No, okay. That would be cool, wouldn't it? But you know what I mean, right? It's contagious. If we, I'm serious right now. If we really take the time to process and make this stick in our hearts, what's going on, what we're talking about, God's going to do amazing things in this group, through this group, to people all over Calgary. And I think that's awesome. Pray with me. Father, we thank you so much that uh, you made us to be in relationship because life would be extremely boring if we didn't have friendships and relationships in our lives. So thank you for that. And God, as we go into a small community right now, our table talk groups, I pray that we would uh, begin to process this and put it into our hearts and practice what we've learned tonight. God, we love you. We thank you for creating us. In Jesus' name. And everyone said, Awesome. If you know where your table talk group is, go now. If you don't, Come to me and we'll make sure you get into your groups.